Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Sienna XLE all-wheel drive. Now the most suitable features on the XLE is its power moonroof, its power liftgate, and its heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Sienna XLE all-wheel drive. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the XLE is your auto daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. And then taking a look just over on the side here, you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your heated mirrors. And then one of the other nice things as well with the XLE is you do have that smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see here on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And if you put your hand between the handle here, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. Now just to give you an idea of what your second row is going to look like, I'm just going to open it up here for you. Now you have uh, captain seats for your second row here. And then if we actually just take a look just on the inside here, you're going to see your close button for your power sliding rear door. Now parents, if you're worried about your kids possibly jamming their hand or fingers into the door here, you don't have to worry about that. Once the uh, door does detect any obstruction in the way, it actually opens itself back up. Now all you have to do to actually close it up from the outside is just push or sorry pull on the handle once more and it will close automatically. You also have your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your light gray cloth or sorry leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just on your left hand side. You're going to see your traction control on and off, parking sensors as well as your blind spot monitoring on and off, and a little bit of storage for some coin. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel are your volume control, scroll function, mode select, voice recognition, Bluetooth, you have your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. Now the other nice thing with the XLE models, it does offer you that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at your multi-informational display, you have your digital speedometer as well as distance to empty, and a couple of other additional features including your all-wheel drive monitoring. Taking a look on your right hand side, you can see your navigation as well as your audio messages and your settings just so you can personalize everything for yourself. And if you take a look at the very top of the screen, you have your exterior temperature gauge. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If we head into your apps menu, you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now parents, one of the cool features with the XLE models, it does have the driver easy speak. So with the driver easy speak, um, a lot of times when your kids are arguing in the back third row, your voice is going to be only projected forward just because you have to make sure you keep your eyes on the road. But with the driver easy speak, when you actually turn it on, your voice is actually projected to the third row through the speaker system. So if you want to stop your kids from fighting just on those long trips, you just have to turn on the driver easy speak. Down below you have your temperature, uh, te sorry, temperature control settings for your dual zone climate control as well as your rear temperature controls just underneath that. Hazard lights and as of 2017 it's now matted to an 8 speed automatic transmission. Down below you also have your USB and auxiliary with your two heated seat controls for your driver and passenger and your two power outlets. At the very top you also have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and your digital compass. And at the very top you're going to see your power lift gate opener as well as your open and close for your two power sliding rear doors. And then if we take a look just up top here you have your sunglass case holder and your additional mirror on the inside just so you can keep an eye on the kids. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And then on the back of your tailgate, you're going to see your back camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Sienna emblem. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. One of the nice things with the third row is a six, uh, it's a 60-40 split. Sorry. So in the event that you do need the additional passengers available to you, however, if you do want to fold the seats down into the floor, you have the option of doing so as well. Now to actually fold down your seat, all you have to do is just push on the button that's on your headrest here, and then just pull on this piece that's located in the middle, pull it forward, make sure it goes into the floor, and then just push this uh, flap up just so everything remains flat. 
So depending on what your needs for, you can have the 60 side down or the 40 side down, just if you need the additional passengers and some cargo space. Now to actually fold the seats back up, if you do forget how uh, to do it in the order, the instructions are just located on the back of the seat. Now all you have to do is just pull the flap forward first, pull on this middle piece, make sure the seat locks itself into place, and then pull on the strap on the far right hand side, and tilt it back to the desired position. So as you can see, you can tilt the seats back farther just so your third row passengers are comfortable as well. If you do need the cargo capacity, but the passenger capacity as well, you still have some storage space just located down below and on your left hand side. Now if your hands are full and it's getting difficult to actually close up the power lift gate, all you have to do is just push on the button once and it closes automatically for you. A lot of times you have to reach and try to close the tailgate yourself, but with the power lift gate all you have to do is just push on the button once and it closes for you. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.